gator time, but uh, some news. Some news for this comfy Monday. I've been officially approved for my gamer subs flavor. It's happening. You probably won't see it for a long time. My estimation's the beginning of February. Just wanna say, thanks to the generosity of everyone, I was able to do it. And I, that's not even correct. I didn't do anything. I'm very, very fortunate to, to have a community like this. This is Little Gator Game. Apparently, it's pretty cute. All right. Oh my! That's enough laying around. I want to do something fun. Big Sis will play with me. I wonder where she went. <laughs> He's a little guy. Wee! <laughs> Look at me! I'm a little guy. Big Sis! Big Sis! I'm bored. What are you doing? <laughs> Just looking at an article for that Legend of Hero game. Puzzles, monsters, the usual. No, I don't want to read about it anymore. Can it be out already? I want to be the legendary hero. You and me both. Uh, but we don't need single player Legend of Hero. We want something we can play together. How hard even is it to be a legendary hero anyway? Just need a sword and a shield. And a hat. Of course. A silly pointy hat. And you have to be plaid and green. I am green. Great. You're already halfway there! Man, I wonder what it's like having a sister that you actually fucking appreciate and love and is nice to you. I wouldn't know fucking nothing about that. I look so cool! I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? Now, as is tradition, you must choose a heroic name. What about Hero Heroson, Hero Meister the Third? Okay, but this is what all the NPCs are going to call you for the whole game. Your name can be as silly or as serious as you want, as long as it means something to you. <laughs> Nas Nazarbev. Okay. I like Gatorade. Is this the name you want? Careful, names can stick. Gatorade. I am Gatorade, hero of legend. Pleasure to meet you, Gatorade. Now, you need some kind of quest, but what? We need to get you up to speed, set the stakes with something dramatic. A hundred billion years of darkness. <laughs> a little over dramatic, but I can work with that. How about it all started 100 billion years ago? With the help of their big sis, they made a whole fantasy game with rules and everything. They also made a pact to last all of playtime, no work allowed. But one day, after many a playtime, big sis went away for school, leaving the little hero to play alone. As time marched on, it seemed like the hero would never get to play with Big Sis ever again. Until one day when Big Sis came home for fall break. Maybe now they could play again, just like they used to. Feels like just yesterday, huh? <laughs> yep, those hundred billion years really flew by. Kinda makes you want to break into song. Yep. I love the mountains. I barely got you to come out here with me. Yeah, sorry kiddo, it's a tough project. Plus, I haven't heard from the other members in a while, so I'm having to pull a lot of extra weight myself. But, uh, don't worry. I've had to punch above my weight before. This project doesn't stand a chance. And now she'll never finish it in a million years. Dude, tell me she at least looked at the decorations those took forever to put up. Not even a peek. But thanks for trying, guys. Sorry, Gatorade. I wish there was something else we could do. It's okay, Jill. We all did our best. Avery, that's it! I'll play the game for her! <gasps> they said it couldn't be done! Care to elaborate? Right now, all this stuff we made is just loose cardboard lying around. Empty pots besides empty waterfalls that don't even have any cool secret caves behind them. There's no story, no drama. We need to put it all to use. A legendary hero, an epic quest. We have to show her what she's missing. Are you sure we should be trying to distract her from a school project? I've been doing college level work recently trying to get into a prep school. It's really hard. It's no problem for my sis. It just takes a million years and I can't wait that long. It tracks! Just a thought, but have you tried having a grown-up conversation with her about all this? You know, before attempting to gamify the whole island? We have a rule about that. No grown-up stuff during playtime. The only way to get her to play is by playing. Just enough to get her hooked again. Please! You already had me at drama. I guess I can make my study break a little longer to help out. 
Well, if everyone else is on board and you really think this will help, I trust you. Yes, all right, let's get to work. Each of you will make a quest for me to complete and reward me with one of the hero items. Avery, your quest is for the hero's hat. Hat quest, got it. Martin, you'll handle the shield. Gotcha. And Jill, the sword, leave it to me. Exactly. And I'll play through my game myself to show my sister how much fun we're having. Don't worry, Scales, we'll ace this assignment for sure. Hey, sis, I'm gonna go play with my friends. Just a normal run-of-the-mill day on the island, nothing special or exciting happening to my knowledge. Uh, okay, kiddo. Have fun, then. Oh, I will. <laughs> Gator. 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 You've got this, Gatorade. You sure it's pretty high up? Don't worry, the legendary hero can climb any height. Oh yeah, I'm a hero. Are we gator maxing this day and age? This is such a comfy little game. Oh no, dangerous beasts! You hero, please, you must help. These vile creatures have attacked me, a defenseless NPC. Do you have a weapon? A weapon? Oh no, I am lacking my sword. Do you know where I can get one? Ah, scaled traveler, I have heard many a tale of a mystical sword. Stories claim it to be deep in the forest, hidden away in a magical grove. Only heroes of the truest heart are able to draw the sword from its impenetrable base. Sounds... difficult. Stick! Thing yet! The magic special sword, it's a, a stick. I guess it was pretty short notice. Brooke, I have to defeat these enemies and help Jill. Thing yet! Craft stuff! Avoid junk! I should probably hang on to all these bits and pieces of stuff I'm breaking. Maybe we can recycle it into something new. I love this. This is actually, like, so perfect. Sis, check it out! That's so cute! Fuck! Fuck, that's so cute! <laughs> I found a special sword in the forest! And I rescued Jill from scary monsters! Very cool, don't break anything! Okay! She loved it! Please don't jump on the rock ledges. That sign can't stop me! I can't read! Hmm, why could it be? I can't find it anywhere. You looking for something? Yeah, there's a stick around here. It's my favorite stick. Uh, I was eating. But like I left it right here in the center insane? of the conspicuous opening. Uh, tell the truth. Oh, was that your stick? Haha, <laughs> oops, I thought it was for me. My friend told me there was a sword hidden in the forest, and when I found that stick, it seemed perfect. A secret sword? Oh, that reminds me. While I was looking for my stick, look what I found. An actual sword. Whoa, a wooden sword. This must be what Jill wanted me to find. Thanks a lot. You want your stick back? Don't worry about it. You can hold on to it as long as you're enjoying it. See you around. Oops. Tee hee. I lost $21 billion. Tee hee. Hey, Gatorade. I've got the shield ready. Let me go grab it. What? No, you can't just give me things. It has to be a reward for a quest. Doing quests is the only way to become the hero and for my sis to play with me. Right. Talking to her is completely out of the question. Completely out of the question. We went over this. Maybe if that doesn't work, we can try talking to her. Too bad it's going to work perfectly and we won't need to. <laughs> Fine, you want a quest? How about a fetch quest? Fetch quest is the best quest. Oh, I, I mean, um, I sure do love me a fetch quest. So go over there and grab that thing. I need it for reasons. Huh, well, yeah, okay, quest time. <laughs> You think it? What? Weird, I wonder what Martin's plan for this was. Here you go, Martin. I got the pot. Reward time. Wow, amazing. You went over there and grabbed a thing and came back. Truly really a task worthy of being called heroic. Uh, here's your reward, hero. Pot lid. This is... Martin, this is the thing I just gave you. That's no, not. It's your shield. Really? Yeah. Then get shield. Wow, a shield, amazing. In addition to defensive capabilities, it also makes a great sled. I can't wait to find a hill and slide down on this pot. I mean shield. Well done, hero. You have completed my quest. Yeah, thanks a lot, Martin. Now go tell your sister you want to play with her. Not gonna happen. Bye. Since I found this weird round thing. But my friend revealed himself to be an alchemist. He transmuted it into his shield. 
incredible. Have you seen it? It is I, the bracelet shop. Look upon my beret of beauties. Do you not desire them? Covet them? But do not fear, for you can follow in their footsteps with the help of my bracelets. You're saying a bracelet will help me climb cliffs? They are bracelets of power. They imbue you with strength. Mayhaps I could be persuaded to part with my beauties for a prize. You carry confetti and cardboard in tow, no? You want the scraps of our broken crafting stuff? But it's just a bunch of junk. Ah, but they hold value to you, do they not? Then they also hold value to me! But do not be mistaken, one is never enough! Look upon my array of beauties! Imagine the strength they lend me! You will find me where you least expect! Goodbye! This is just Breath of the Wild. Jesus Christ, can't they get anything original for crime any sake? Hey, Gatorade. Uh, wow. Uh, what is all this? It's something to spice up our game time and impress your big sis at all. A restaurant. Those create lots of conflict, and grown-ups love conflict. Restaurant? Conflict? See, there will be an opposing restaurant that badmouths them to the press. And then in Act 2, all the refrigerators will mysteriously be unplugged overnight. The drama with all the spoiled food. How will they impress the food critic? All oh, this conflict is a bit stressful, don't you think? Oh, stressful? Uh, it kind of feels like grown-up stuff, doesn't it? Oh no, not grown-up stuff. Forget I even said anything. No stress allowed. Whoop, there it goes. So, the hat, right? Did you at least make the hat? Right, the hat! Um... To be honest, I forgot everything you were talking about the absolute moment I left. Can do? Hero, your quest is to craft a hat. There we go. Simple. <gasps> hey, that wasn't so hard. I made a hat all on my own. Quest complete. Is this a, a shirt? Avery, wait, whose shirt is this? Sis, sis. I ventured to the top of the mountain. I had to climb all over. And at the top, a special hero hat. <gasps> Looking sharp. Yeah, that's everyone. <laughs> okay, okay. The thing is though, is that this one has all the skill and love put into it. And Breath of the Wild is Breath of the Wild. <laughs> According to all known laws of aviation, the gator should not be able to fly. Slimes have quite a look to them, huh? Slime! Hello, fellow mountain climber! These bracelets sure work great, don't they? I guess so. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. They're just bracelets, right? Might be placebo. If you think your meager one bracelet is good enough to match my abilities, prove it and find me amongst the mountains. Ah, fellow mountain climber, you have found me. What took you so long? I bet you think you're quite the hot shot now, having traversed these treacherous cliffs. Little do you know, you have a lot to learn. You have learned the art of the ascent. Yes. However, you are quite lacking in the art of descent. Allow me to demonstrate. Channel the power of Ragdoll. Oh, Gator Man, I don't want to hurt him. <laughs> there goes my hero. <laughs> oh my ear to ear, this is so cute. I love it. So, uh, what do you think? Just a sec, let me finish this thought. Uh, and done. What's up? Oh, you're done? Oh, no, no, I'm nowhere close to finished. But I've got a minute. What do you need? Well, look at me. 
I'm the little green hero. All those quests I've been doing. It's just like the game we played. It's like old times, right? Kiddo, I think it's great that you're playing with your friends, but I've really got to focus on this project. Still? But I did all this stuff. Why'd you agree to come with me if you were going to spend time with me? Remember our promise? Playtime mean no, means no grown-up stuff, right? Kiddo, you know, maybe you're right. I guess I'll just get out of your way. Go ahead and have fun without me. Eh, sorry, Gatorade. I guess it wasn't meant to be. What? No, no way! <laughs> Didn't you see that spark in her eye? All I saw was the bags underneath them. Didn't wow her enough! We need to go bigger and better. We need to go there. The big island? You gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Don't worry, buddy. Maybe we can win her over next fall. Or maybe not. Hi. <sighs> okay. Okay, eyes on the prize, Gatorade. It's not over yet. All you have to do is go corral a bunch of strangers and turn them into your friends. Find Avery, Martin, and Jill, and convince them to get back on board. And compose a dramatic spectacle the likes of which the world has never seen in a single afternoon! Easy! This'll be a walk in the park! Big sis better grab a laundry basket, cause I'm about to knock your socks off! Ah, ah good day, Traveler. Traveler, hello! I heard there's a gator on a quest, and I'm here to help. That's great! Uh, hail and well to meet you, friend! You look lost. Have you not journeyed to our land before? I could give you some directions if you like. If you get lost, try heading for the tallest spot you can find nearby. That's really helpful, thanks! Thank goodness help has arrived! A bunch of icky slimes are trying to climb the waterfall! We gotta get these goobers gone! Take out as many as you can, I'll cover your flank! Y'all see that fucking that kick flip of Wow, it's you! It's the legendary hero! I heard there was a hero on an adventure, so I've been waiting all day for you to come by. Can I be your sidekick? Oh, um I always wanted to be a hero! Oh, a hero name and a catchphrase and everything! My dad says that's important because of the economy! I don't, I don't know about- please, 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 please let me be your sidekick. I'll carry your stuff and clean your cape and- well, okay. I guess I could try having a sidekick for a little while. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! This is amazing! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I need a break. Are you the guys eating lunch? That looks really good. I guess. I don't really like mine. Never fear, folks. The green hero shall solve this lunchtime puzzle. I'll talk to each of you and figure out which lunch would be best for which person. Oh, cool. Thank you. I'd like something light and healthy, please. Apple slices sound great. I'd love that. I like salty food, but I only want a small snack. Yeah, those look good. I want a lot of food, please. But I'm really hungry. Yummy! I want to eat the whole dish. All right, you son of a bitch! Ah! Gator. <gasps> a whale! Ah! Oh! How you doing? All right, come here, you son of a... Gator, one time, we spent the whole day running through the forest until we couldn't run anymore. Said, I don't want to walk all the way back to the pavilion. So she plopped down right here in the creek. That was the comfiest mud I've ever slept on. Think it, Rock. Hey, um, you have a lot of paper. Yeah, I'm collecting it for a game we're playing. And I have some? How much do you want? Um, a few sheets, I guess. I don't know how many that is. How much would you need in, let's say, very small, torn up pieces? I don't know. How about 500? 500? Sure. Can I have 500 paper? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Here. <laughs> Whoa, I was just gonna ask if you wanted to play. Sorry, I'm mad at someone else. 
We were supposed to do this together, but never mind. You want to join our ninja village? Are you the one that got banished from the ninja village? Yep, that's me. Okay, I think we're supposed to hit you. Go ahead. This game isn't fun anymore. Might as well get it over with. You gonna hit me or what? Actually, I changed my mind. I don't want to hit you. Can we just go talk to the chief and let you come back? <sighs> Bitch. We hate litter. Do not mess with Texas. <laughs> my fucking head. In mint condition. Hear that? Mint condition. As in never used. You tell that to anyone who asks about it. It's a grappling hook. Ugh. Trash. Does he walk like he shat himself? He's on an adventure, dude. You'd walk like this too. But you're boring and you never go on adventures. Mr. No Adventure Beyond Have an Ass, Ass, Have an Ass, Have her, Ass, Have an Ass. Uh huh. Are you playing chess by yourself? Ah, oh, Traveler. I see you're not familiar with the musings of a master strategist. I'm hard at work developing new tactics to best my beans. opponents. Oh, okay, how's it going? To be honest, not having much luck. Gasp! So reckless. So brutal. Garbage! Garbage. I'm here to help, Mr. Bull. <laughs> Water's real nice, huh? A crisp fall day like this it makes you just want to jump right in. Pity, can't swim. Oh no, I can swim really good, I could teach you. It's really easy, see? First you submerge, so you just snout is just above the water, and then... Okay, 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 no, it's... It's more like I won't swim. You ever heard of a floofy bull? Um, well actually... Nah. No, really, I... No such thing. Just search up on your phone. Doesn't work. Fluffy bulls, non-existent. Oh well. Guess I'll never impress that sheep over there. They've been giving me weird looks all day. Just talk to them. Absolutely not. I have to impress them first with a huge cannonball. But then, I'll get all floofed. And then... Okay, fine, hold on. Can't swim. I get floofy. Look, dude. For one, floofy bulls are a thing. Nope. For two, that sheep says they're totally into floofy bulls. What? Really? Yep. Garbage. Oh yeah? Fuck you. <laughs> Fully automatic assault chemicals. Want to be friends already? I'd love to be your friend and join the game. Wait, let's do it. Can't be that easy, it needs a quest. Hmm, let's see. Oops, I dropped my anarchy symbol. Quest complete, time to join the town, right? Of course, now to just, oops, my anarchy symbol. My oversized pencil, you retrieved it for me again. Yeah, but maybe hold on to it better this time. Oh, for sure. I'll keep a tight grip of, oops, oops, there it goes again. I'm so sorry. Could you grab that one more time? Here I come. I'm here to help. No way, this fucking thing? Oh no, a scooter board. Dude, I fucking annihilated one of my fingers on these things. Hey, Palio, want to make some stuff go boom? Yeah, absolutely. I wish more people said hello that way. Martin, hey, Martin's friends. Looking cool. Every day of the week, my dude. Standing here doing nothing as my kids like you roll up and rave about how cool we are. What? Come on, that doesn't actually work. You sure about that? Let's get a smash cut to 30 seconds ago. Hey, Martin. Martin's friends? Looking cool. Hey, Martin, your friend's kind of weird. Yep, that's my weirdo. Yep, that's my- Hello, Lucas. Hi. Don't mind me, just thought I'd go for a casual stroll. A casual stroll to a remote island. Oh, you're right. This is really out of the way. Haha. 
I didn't even notice. Ha <laughs> ha! I try to talk, I feel all the words jumbling around my head. It's because Lucas is gay. Oh, it sure is a nice day to be me, Martin. I'm just relaxing here on the island, minding my own business. Let's see, what's a good opener? Let's watch Power Fighters on DVD. Let's assume that I didn't bring a DVD of a three decade old TV series to the park with me today. Then what do I say? In that very unlikely event, I could only suggest, let's watch Power Fighters on DVD. We should really try to watch Power Fighters on DVD. Here, I don't even think I own a DVD player, like at all. My family just streams everything. It's not about the DVD. It's about what it represents. What does it represent? You know. Well, in that case, all I can say is, let's watch Power Fighters on DVD. <laughs> I was eating I love beans. you. Are you fucking insane? Haha, I gotcha. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oof, hey, knock it off. Everything okay over here? I heard the commotion all the way from the splash pod. Pretty sure they only ever honk. It's kind of their thing. Ah! Well, that's no reason to push somebody. All right, Gatorade, let's all try to calm down. What are you gonna do, sue them? You know what? Yeah, I am! Court is now in session. You stand accused of obstruction of fun and being very rude. How do you plead? Ah! Very well. Then I call Martin to the stand. I don't believe you. I'm sure I heard that goose gab. Sorry, Gatorade, that's not gonna fly. You wanna make this into a case, you gotta present hard, hard evidence to prove me wrong. Dang, he's right. I have to call him out with everything I got. Like I said, as long as I've known Duke, they never said anything cool except honks. Wait a minute, that's a lie! Interesting statement, Martin. Martin, I just have one question. If Duke has never said a word to you, then how did you know his name? Uh, well, uh... Lucas and Jada told me, obviously, they've known Duke longer than I have. Okay, then how did they know? <laughs> well, yeah, you see, it must have... What, what really happened was... Enough! The jig is up, Martin. You can quit covering for me. Sorry the, sorry for getting you mixed up in this racket. Aha! I knew it! Straight from the goose's mouth. It's for the best. Now that my secret is revealed, I can legal battle Gatorade head-on! <gasps> Yeah, I may be talking, but you can't make me sing. This case isn't over yet. Bring it on, Duke, if that is your real name. And I hope it is, because this will be a lot more confusing if it isn't. Uh, is it cool if I go now? Oh, sure, you can go. Yeah, thanks for checking out, checking on us. Cool. Later. Good luck with this. All right, Defendant Duke. Let's get right to the question on everyone's mind. Why did you push me on the day of the crime? Because you were trying to get at the pump. I didn't want you to. Duh. You could have told me that. Yeah, well, it ain't always that easy. Besides, anyone with eyes can see that we all want the water to stay off. Or do you? I have a reason to believe otherwise. Is that so? Fine. Then I might as well say whatever you want to hear. Even though all my friends want the water off, I don't care at all. Doop -de -doop -de -doop -de -doop. You know what? I think you're telling the truth. You don't actually care about the water, do you? No, I was being sarcastic. But you know how to reserve psychology? Not even a little. But my expert detective skills tell me that there's another reason you pushed me. It's no use. I get nothing past you, Gatorade. I pushed you because the cool kids are counting on me. I'm already the lamest one in the gang. I can't go spilling milk just when, just to get my beak wet. If I disappoint kids as cool as them, they'll never want to talk to me again. Sorry, Duke. There's something about your story that just doesn't add up. If the cool kids would stop being your friend because you talk about your feelings, then they wouldn't be very cool at all! What? Are you crazy? Lucas, Jada, and Martin are cooler than anyone on the island! If that's true, then they'd never do something so uncool. You can talk to them. No, Gatorade, you're wrong! It just wouldn't work out! I know because I've already lost another for a group of friends that way. Oh? What happened? <laughs> One day, everything was daisies. The next, my pal, my best pal, told me that everyone was just pretending to like me. Maybe I was annoying. Did I say the wrong thing? I don't know. Anyway, I left them alone. I figured if I didn't say anything this time, I can't say whatever messed everything up last time. Wow, Duke. That guy sounds like a huge jerk. <gasps> you don't even know what you did. I bet your other friends miss you a lot. If your new best buddy was pretending, would he have withheld your secret in a court of law? I guess Martin did do a federal crime for me, huh? 
He risked his life sentence just to show you he cares. I bet Jada and Lucas would do the same. Therefore, my final verdict is that your friends like is that your friends like you, and you should talk to them. I also I sentence that big liar to the shadow dimension forever. Squirrel! <laughs> Detective Gator on the case. This game has been great. No complaints. They put scorn to shame. Is that? Is that garbage? No. <laughs> I was gonna use this weird frisbee as a serving platter, but I can part with it. What do you want for it? Huh? I've been looking for something to this signature dish and focal point of my restaurant idea. Something that sits neatly on a plate, but upright enough to be seen from an audience angle. Something brightly colored to contrast the dark cutthroat world of the competition cooking. Something that projects both opulence and scarcity. Something like, I don't know, have a cheese sandwich. Just win the race, just win the race. Just win, just win, just win the race. I have never seen this guy. Oh joy, a customer, and your friends with that little girl in the cave. It's my lucky day. That's right. I'd like one ice cream, please. Sure, it's three bucks. Only three, that's a great deal. Here you are, my good vendor. What, what is this? It's loot and quests. This is a torn up takeout bag. I can see the grease on this scrap. I need real paper. Oh, hold on for just a second. Uh, it has made a slight problem. Ice cream person isn't playing. They want three real dollars. Ugh, you see what I mean about that one? It's so needy. You have any adult money? I only have 50 cents. Wait, no, 55. I still have two dollars I can lend you. Thank you, but we're still five cents short. It's okay. I've got one more person I can ask. Big sis. Hey, sis. Hey. Hi, big sis. Hello, Jill. Hi, Gatorade's big sis. Hello, number I don't recognize. Gatorade, what's going on? Would it be possible to borrow some money? I want to buy an ice cream for my friend. We just need five more cents. Want me to wire you a nickel? Yes, please. Are you still there? Sorry, I had to catch my breath. <laughs> I just sent you six dollars. Get yourself one, too. Wow, thank you! You're welcome. Don't eat it too fast. I will do. Thanks, everyone. Bye! See you later. You'll be glad you waited because I would like two ice creams. I have six dollars right here on my phone. It's not cash. Oh, if, if you wait another minute, I can go run. No, it's fine. Ladies and gentlemen, that was adorable. I love you all. I, I honest to God wish I had a sister that actually gave a shit about me like that. It's not about the gator game that you can play. It's about the little gator game in your heart. And you know, I think that's... <laughs> if only I could stay for greater heights, call out to me. Goodbye. I want to be a cowboy. Found him. I'm coming in hot, bitch. My death was merely exaggerated. Progress? No, even be- Wait, why? Are you finally done? Um, no, sorry, it was just a guess. Didn't mean to get your hopes up. That's okay, because I'm having such an amazing time with everyone at the playground! He's got a blacksmith, an astronaut, and, and even a whole castle with towers and bridges and everything! Wow, that all sounds great! It's the greatest! It's so cool that everyone dropped everything they were doing to play! I see. Come see for yourself, just for a minute. A half a minute. Don't even worry about all those books and stuff. You can just leave them right there for no reason, haha. <laughs> you know, can I talk to you for a sec, grown-up style? Well, it's about that, Gatorade. I know what you're trying to do here. You do? It's not that I don't want to play, or that all those memories aren't happy, or that I'm avoiding you, or... Dang, I'm butchering this. I'm... I just think that if you see it for yourself... I'm sure it's incredible, but I still have work to do. And playing with you, it's... What I'm saying is this assignment needs to get done. I can't make today go how you imagined and still finish in time. Gatorade, if your sis isn't impressed with all of this, then it's not about the game. It goes past that. You need to talk to her. I, I know I do, I, I don't have the words. It's okay, Gatorade. Your friends are here to help. Why don't you try and talk about what you and your sis game... about your sis's game and what it means to you? Okay, it, it's a bit complicated. A hero has to be clad in green. I am 
one green! Great! You're already halfway there! This is it. This is the first time we started playing together. Ooh, this is the part where Sis has you pick a hero name. Name you pick seems familiar. Oh right, this is when I started going by Gatorade. Using a name was part of the fun and I liked how it sounded, so... I kept it. Problem solved, just... I have to apologize and let her be the hero, then she'll want to play for sure! Not so fast, Gatorade. Earlier I asked you why... Earlier I asked why you insist on playing the game, we never talked about it. Oh, I guess now's the time. Those memories are over there, back the way we came. The path is less taken care of, I guess. This was the day that Sis told me she wanted to go to computer school. She said it would help her achieve her big dream, and we were both really excited. Looking back, though, that was the start of her having less and less time to play with me. Schoolwork can do that. Sometimes we have to choose adult stuff. One day, she didn't want to talk at all. Not about the game or TV or the weather or anything. And that was it. After that, she never wanted to play the game again. When she went away to college, I stopped seeing her altogether. Even when she's home, she's working on something. I know she's busy, and I want her to succeed, and I don't want to pressure her. I don't want to never play the game again, ever. Aren't we playing the game right now? Well, kind of, but with rules and friends and towers and monsters and heroes who save the land? Yes, it's just... sounds like a great game to me. But I was only playing the game to get Sis to play! Because it's not a real game without her! Which definitely sounds silly when I say it out loud. Sure is a lot of work putting a whole big game together, huh? Yeah, it is. But uh, that's not the player's fault. Games are just hard to make, you know? Yeah, I know. And multiplayer is a nightmare. <laughs> I bet. I'm excited to hear all about that later. What's that grin? You look like you're about to burst. Did you want to talk about it? No, it can wait. I just wanted to say, thanks for everything. All the ideas and explaining everything to me, and being nice to me even though you were stressed out, and you don't have to say every little thing, kiddo. I'm happy to do all that for you. Okay, just one more, even though you have work to do. I'm really glad you're here. Thanks, Gatorade. I'm glad too. Cool. Sorry I waited a hundred million years to tell you that. Now we're both so old! <laughs> Don't make me laugh like that, I might crumble into dust. You're right. I better go enjoy my youth while I still have the chance. I love you. Bye. And good luck on your project. Love you too, kiddo.